Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Marx's three levels of a society, and and here we don't we don't necessarily mean the levels of like a hierarchy of power relations between different groups. Um, rather, we mean the levels of economic um, life in a given society, and so all of these things are going to determine the arts and culture and and, and practices of a given society. So. Um, so first of all, there are the conditions of production. So these are uh, the collection of natural conditions and resources available to a given society. So um, some societies will, will, will live next to rivers and will be primarily agrarian societies. Other societies will be uh, uh, mountainous societies and may have like uh, uh, fewer agricultural resources, but may have like mining as a primary resource. All, all of these things, right? The, the way in which a society engages in economic life and, and the things that they have to use that are at their disposal, um, those are the conditions of production and they will determine uh, uh, other economic factors. Uh, one of the other economic factors that they will determine is number two. This is the means of production. Uh, so first of all, what is the means of production? The means of production are the, 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 all of the equipment and the tools and the machinery uh, to which a society has access, right? So um, suppose that we're in a, an agrarian society and we have uh, horse-drawn plows, right? Uh, the conditions would be, right, we, we live in an area with uh, uh, large fields, right, uh, maybe next to a river, and that, that's, those are our conditions of production, whereas the means of production are things like the seeds, things like the, uh, the plows, things like the gins, right, things like the, uh, um, the devices used for picking uh, the crops, right. The, the collection of all of those things uh, is the means of production, right? We can't produce if we don't have all of this technology. Okay, and so uh, our, uh, our author also talks about this term, the production relations, and this is the distribution of work and ownership of the means of production, right? So um, it, it's relevant for Marx whether or not those that, that work uh, are also those that own, you know, so a lot of the times in history, Marx is going to identify that those that own are not those that work. So those uh, who have, who hold possession of the means of production are not actually the ones doing the labor, right? Okay, so, so we have the conditions of production, we have the means of production, Lastly, these two things will determine the mode of production. And basically what this is, is the collective practices of production, right? Uh, and, and so what does that mean? That means that given what we have, right, at our disposal, our natural conditions of our society, and given the kinds of technology that, uh, uh, that, that come, that we have available to us to, uh, to use those conditions of production, right? Um, our various practices of how we use those means, right? Uh, that determines the mode of production, right? So the mode of production would be to, uh, in our agricultural society would be to plow uh, in the spring, right? And plant in the latter part of the spring and then continue and then harvest in the fall, right? That would be the mode of production. Uh, the whole, the collection of these practices uh, in, in our agrarian society, right, are going to look different than, say, if we live in an industrial society. So um, Marx wants to say that the mode of production, right, uh, offers one key element of the basis of society, right, which is what we talked about in the last video, and the mode of production will determine society, will, will largely determine society's superstructure, right? And those are the values, norms, culture, arts, philosophies, sciences of a given society. 
So in this video, we've distinguished between the three economic levels of society, um, each of which kind of gets more complex. And we also talked about how the means of production will sort of be uh, Marx's uh, uh, touchstone for developing his theory of communism.